All right, so we're gonna knock off the butter because I'm realizing I probably should have used my whisk instead of my beater, but I'm supposed to put it on a floured surface. I don't think I have enough flour. Let's try a little bit more. We're gonna, we're gonna be two hearts running wild. And this is our Canadian family life. Okay, so we're going to make a simple three ingredient butter cookie. So the original recipe calls for one cup of softened butter, half a cup of powdered sugar, and two cups of flour. But we're gonna double the recipe. So I've got my stick of butter here, you guys can see, and I have softened it. So this is technically two cups of butter or just a little over two cups of butter. It's not that bad. And if you guys can see a shadow, that's Bella. She's here helping, sort of. Being funny is more like what she's doing. <laughs> but, okay, so we're gonna open our stick of butter and it's peeling and it's falling apart and having a fun time of it. Okay, hang on. Ah! You. Okay, so there's our stick of butter. In we go. Okay, Bells. Can you put this in the garbage, please? All right, so as you see, stick of butter's in there. So I've got my half cup measure. So we are going to now add the powder sugar. Oh wait, no, we're supposed to whip the butter first. So let's whip the butter first. I'm reading the recipe as I go here, cause yeah, okay, so. So we'll be back with you guys when we're done whipping the butter. All right, so we're gonna knock off the butter because I'm realizing I probably should have used my whisk instead of my beater, but hoping that maybe when we add the powdered sugar, it will get a little fluffier. So, hey, this is our first time doing this. We've never done it before, so we're gonna try, right? That's all we can do is try. You're struggling to get the butter off. I am, hold that, please. <laughs> so we're gonna put a cup of brown, sh or a cup of pow powdered sugar using my half cup. So there goes one. One half cup. Oh, there's not a lot. There's not a lot in there. And there's two. Yeah, I gotta refill my icing sugar. And we're just gonna add a little bit for good measure, just in case I didn't quite fully have that right. Okay, so icing sugar can now go over there. So once again, we beat it until it's combined. So we'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Have we, as we've always learned in all of my videos, you need to worry about scraping down your bowl and scraping down your paddle. At least once during your mixing process to make sure everything gets nicely incorporated and whipped together. Cool. Well, that piece. And here we go. I just saw that one little piece just fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. So now we're gonna add the flour one cup at a time and beat it as it goes. So once again, scrape down your bowl, scrape down your beater, and then start adding the ingredients. Like I said, my it looks like frosting. Kind of does. Kind Almost of. does look like the along the lines of butter fro um, uh, buttered buttercream frosting. That's it. And now we have been joined by the Axolotl Hunter. <laughs> He's now seeing what we're doing. And will be joining us here soon for the other one, that, the other uh, cookie video that you probably have already seen yet. This is a secret cookie video, so. This one's a secret one. This is also a secret one. No one knows it's coming. Well, they do now, but at the time of the other one going live, they won't know this one's coming. They'll know it's coming, but they won't know what it is. Alright, so, as you hear me bantering with my kids in the background. I'm not sliding. And everything, there's one cup of flour going in. And now, we mix. Yay! Yay. Alright, so next, Alex is going to add the next cup of flour. Nope. Okay. Hold that, okay, so hold that again. Oh. Okay, another scrape down. Yeah. 
trying to make it a little thicker, that's for sure. It's good because we need it to be more like a dough like that I can work with on the counter. Yeah, Oops. Sorry everybody at home, I kinda just hit you. Okay, hold it. Since we were doubling the recipe, here goes another cup of flour. You lied to me. Huh? You said we didn't need another cup of flour. I didn't say that. Thank you. Oh, well, yeah, we need one more now. You want to do the last one? Yeah. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe and become part of the family. Okay, everybody, as you saw, we had a little bit of an explosion of flour everywhere. Kind of came out of there. I really should use the guard this thing comes with, but I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I like making a mess. I'm not perfect. I never, I never said you were perfect. I was just gonna say, I never claimed to be perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. We're getting the right consistency now from what I've seen in doing my research on butter cookies because I've never made a butter cookie before. So this is all new to me. Well, this is just, because well, it has to have like a dough-like consistency because we're supposed to roll it into a log here in a little bit. So, and then plastic wrap it. A stiff dough, like the, some some of them are a little more not as stiff as like this. This is pretty stiff. All right, hold that. You gonna do the flour? Yes. Oh, then I'll hold that. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We're having some fun in the background here. I'm just shaking it off so that most of the excess comes off. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. One more. Are right, you good? Okay, I think that's good now. There we go. Bella's adding the last cup of flour. Yay! Now she gets to hold this again. Yay! Okay, here we go. We're gonna slowly mix this time around because it's getting it is getting to be a little bit more. All right, everyone. Look at that. That is some thick dough, which is exactly what we're looking for. So next, we're just gonna get it all off of the dough hook. Get the dough hook out. Aptly named because it makes dough. Ha ha ha. Get off the dough hook to the best of our abilities. Get all the doughy goodness off. Um, oh, I know. Isn't it looking scrumptious? Okay, can you go put that over at the sink? Go ahead, and if you want to, you can lick the beaters. There's no eggs. Hmm. Actually, guys, the batter does taste pretty good. Okay, so we're going to remove it off of the mixing stand now. Move our mixing stand that way. That's out of our way. So I'm just going to fold it in to make a ball. And then I will be back with you guys when it's time to put flour on the surface here and such. So just give me a second. Okay, so I floured up my hands so that I can get the dough out. All out of the... The bowl, all of the rest of it, as much as I can get out. You want to make a big dough ball, apparently. All right, so I'm gonna ask my little helper in the background. You guys can't see her, but she's uh, currently busy doing something. There we go. She's gonna take that from me. So there's the dough, everybody. It's nice and good and all that sort of stuff. So now we're just gonna kind of supposed to put it on our flour surface. I don't think I have enough flour. Try a little bit more. Yeah. There we go. So you're just kind of supposed to put it on here and then roll it into it's a cylindrical. So that's what we're gonna do. Just gonna want to kind of keep it so that it's evenly rolling out. That looks to be about right. So don't judge me, everyone. I don't have any plastic wrap in the house. So I have taken an old bread bag and we have cut it in half. So we're gonna use that and hope it fits. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Wait, no, it might fit this way. Oh, that'll just be, that'll just be getting it. So we just kind of short it a little bit, which we can do. The joys of baking, you can 
if you've messed up a little bit, which I do a lot in this kitchen. Okay, so if we put this down here, let's see if we actually do it this way, I might be able to do a little bit better here. Okay, so transfer the log over into the be prepared for the plastic. It's not plastic wrap, I can't call it that, but into our bread bag. And we're gonna roll it up like so. Like so. Like so. And we're gonna kind of just... Now, see, they used... Everything I've seen, they've used plastic wrap, so they have uh, stuff on the ends to um, kind of... So we're just gonna kind of roll it a little bit to kind of even it out and... Okay, ours aren't gonna be as pretty as the, uh, the ones I've seen in the past, but okay, so now we're just gonna tuck in the sides here. Good luck with that. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so now we're gonna put that in the fridge and it's supposed to sit for an hour, but it's, as it is getting late tonight, we are probably going to do this in the morning. So be back with you guys in the morning when it's time to, put, to cut them up and put them on the uh, cookie sheet. So as I said before, it's now the next day and I've taken out my dough. Now I was surprised at how hard the log had done and how well this old used bread bag did for cling wrap. You have to use what you have to use. I didn't have cling wrap so I made do with what I did have and it turned out great. And now it's time to take my knife and start chopping them up. Uh, several things that I read while I was doing the research stated that you could try dipping your knife into hot water to do this. As you see, I struggled a little bit, but as I kept going, it got easier. And as you see, I kept the cookies at about a half an inch thickness. That way they wouldn't be too doughy in the middle and they wouldn't burn at the same time. It did get easier the more I cut. Now that that's all done, as you can see, I was able to keep up the about half an inch consistency with each cookie. So now it is time to put them on the tray so we can get them in the oven. All right, so now I have them all laid out on the cookie sheet. Knowing that they might melt, I did try to put a little bit more space in between them. I have preheated my oven at this point in time to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I will bake these for about 12 to 15 minutes. So I'll be back with you guys in just one moment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and join the family. Ta-da! There you have it, everyone. There are the cookies. Aren't they scrumptious looking? They are a nice golden brown. They held their shape. And man, I'm glad I kept it at the half inch consistency. This is the difference of baking with margarine versus baking with butter. I didn't know the difference until today, so that's awesome. What do you like bake with? Do you prefer baking with margarine or butter? <laughs> Leave a comment down below. But man, I am so glad that I tried this recipe. So, what did you think about the cookies? Didn't they look great? And I can't believe it took me that long to figure out it wasn't a butter cookie at all that I was making. It was actually a shortbread. Go figure, you live and learn. But since I did promise a butter cookie recipe, I will look for one so that I can do it for you guys down the road. But they were great, they were yummy. And I don't know what I could have done differently, but I don't think I could have. They were perfect, they didn't melt when I built, baked them. It was just, they were so yummy. And for once they were not dry. Usually when I make a shortbread cookie, it gets a little dry. So I was happy to see that these ones didn't get dry. And the family love them, which is amazing. So I hope you all did too, and that you try the recipe. And if you do, let me know how it turns out in the comments down below. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, think about giving us a thumbs up. It really would help. It helps us get out to the algorithm and reach a few more people and all that fun stuff. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss out on any future videos from us. We have lots of fun things coming up because we're coming into the holidays. So there's going to be Halloween, Thanksgiving, more cook-offs between our family members, and of course, Vlogmas. Who wants to miss that? Also, 
If you're new here and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and come join the family. We get up to a lot of fun, family togetherness and chaos. If that's what you're looking for, the kind of content you're looking for, come join our family. We welcome everybody with open arms and open hearts. But that being said, it's time for me to get inside and make sure nobody's eating all damn cookies. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye everybody. Check out this video right here. YouTube really thinks you would like this one. And thanks for watching everyone. Bye.